Hey guys, today I'm going to be responding to Kelly's child free tag video. Um, she made a video talking about her experiences being child free and asking some questions and uh, tagging other child free YouTubers. And I was one of the lucky ones. So let's get started. First question is Do you dislike children? I don't dislike children as a whole. I mean, we've all seen our share of unruly children, we've all seen our share of of good, well-behaved children. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I think people, I for one, look more to the parents than the children themselves for their bad behavior. You know, they just let them run wild, and, and to me, that's not acceptable. Be a parent. You know, do your job as a parent. You want it so badly, do it. Uh, but no, I don't dislike children as a whole. Let's see, next one. Why did you opt out of parenthood? When I was growing up, parenthood wasn't even an idea. It wasn't a goal of mine. I never said one day, I'm gonna, when I'm a dad, I'm going to do this. One day when I have kids, I'm going to do this. When I have a son, daughter, whatever. Um, so I mean, it's, it is a societal norm that everybody's going to be married. Everybody's going to go to college. Everybody's going to have children. Everybody's going to buy a house. It's the, you know, the American dream societal expectation, the life script, whatever you want to call it. Um, but my main reason was uh, there are diseases that run through my family, as I've talked about in my other videos. Um, schizophrenia, Alzheimer's, cancer, undiagnosed mental disorders on both my mom and my dad's side of the family that I don't want to risk passing on. So that's why I'm opting out of parenthood. All right, number three. Do you think your childhood experiences and or your parents' actions influenced your decision? Yes. Um, I was abused as a child when I was very young by my father. Um, my mother, after she got divorced, tra we traveled all around the country. Um, I was traveling every three years. I'm still traveling every three years. I, I'd like to settle down somewhere, but uh, if I had a kid, that wouldn't be possible. And my experience of going through that was, you know, I didn't, I didn't like it. I couldn't keep friends. I couldn't keep school, uh, the same school. I couldn't, you know, know, get to know an area. I'm still having that problem. I'm 30 years old. But, yeah, um, I'd say yes. My, my childhood experiences did uh, influence my decision to be child-free. Uh, what is the most common reaction, comment you get when people find out you're child-free? For me... It's always been, you'll change your mind, or uh, what, what are you going to do if you find a woman who wants children? First of all, I wouldn't even begin considering dating any women who had children or wanted them. That is like number one on my dating list. Do you have kids? Do you want kids? If the answer is no, then we move on. If the answer is yes, thanks for your time, goodbye. I have parents as friends. I think everybody does. Um, I would never date them though. But uh, yeah, you know, you'll the common answers are you'll change your mind. Uh, I don't get the selfish one much. Nobody's generally that rude that I've seen that I've told them I'm child free. A lot of people have said though, "You're smart," or "Good idea," or "I wish I had done that." That's always encouraging. Uh, it makes me, you know, it is the right choice for me, but it kind of reaffirms that I did, I did do the right thing. Because children are not what society uh, portrays them to be, as we all know. Number five, do you have any child-free friends or relatives? Um, I got a bunch of child-free friends in, in California, uh, Arkansas. Not many. You know, the, the, the Facebook group, uh, Living Child-Free in the Natalist World, a lot of people on there, I mean, everybody on there is child-free. Um, I think we even had some parents in the group, but uh, they, you know, either they came in to troll or they came in as you know respectful. Hey, I've got kids, and you know you guys are, you guys are all right, and everything. But other than that, I don't have many child-free friends. Um, relatives? No, no. My relatives are in Texas. That should tell you something. Um, let's see. My sister-in-law is. Uh, getting ready to have her third kid. My stepsister has f had five kids. 
So that's eight nieces and nephews that I have within about eight years. So, you know, I am the only one of my relatives that's child free. It makes for interesting family conversations when I go home. Number six, do you think people are aware that parenthood is a choice? Honestly, that's why I make my videos. That's why I encourage everybody to make videos, to get the word out there that parenthood is a choice. You know, it's not, you don't have to do it. You know, if, you know, even with your parents raising you the way they did, think for yourself. That's, that's the best advice I can give anyone about this topic. Think for yourself. Make your own decisions. Don't go by what mommy and daddy taught you. Don't go by what religion taught you. Think for yourself. I mean, it's easier just to follow the herd, and that's what a lot of people do, unfortunately, and then they find out they're miserable, and they wake up a little bit too late after they've got a kid and a mortgage and, you know, they're struggling financially, but whatever. But no, generally, no. I don't think society as a whole realizes that parenthood is a choice because it's what we're all raised to believe. Number seven, how do you feel or react when your loved ones announce they're expecting? Um, good luck. If it's the first one, I, I'm always anxious to see their reactions. Uh, um, my cousin Tammy, when she was uh, first, when she was a, her her first baby was oops, was an oops a baby. Um, she uh, was posting on Facebook like like three or four months after it was born, like, oh my god, this is horrible. Nobody told me about this. This is terrible. I hate my life. I hate this. Please help me. I'm so scared. I'm, I'm miserable I'm just like well you know, that's what you get that's why I got snipped so I deal with that but my, you know my general thing is congratulations because I don't want them you know everybody has a choice everybody has a choice and they made their choice so uh, but yeah, whatever. number eight what is the most ridiculous bingo you've ever received I won't, I haven't really received many ridiculous bingos. Um, mainly, like I said, uh, you'll change your mind, or how can you not have kids? You're 30 years old. Uh, I have had someone tell me when I spoke of my divorce, before I knew why she divorced me, was, uh, oh, maybe, maybe your wife left you because she wanted kids. I thought, you asshole. That's fucking rude. But anyway, yeah, I haven't received many uh, many ridiculous ones, just the common ones. Are you worried you might one day regret your decision? No, I'm not. Because, as they say, I'd rather regret not having children than regret having them. Number 10, for women, don't you want to experience being pregnant? No, I really don't want to experience being pregnant. This is not junior. Number 11, is your current partner child-free as well? Yes, she is. And we love our lives. We talk about it all the time. You know, we both get a little smirk on our faces when uh, we go out and we see a kid, uh, you know, screaming and hollering, throwing a tantrum, and his parents are just looking up like, why, why, why? And we're just looking at each other like, yeah. Bed made lie. Number 12, is it possible to be in a happy, fulfilling relationship without children? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, not having children gives you time to work on your relationship, to nurture it, to grow as a couple and as, as individuals. So yes, it is absolutely possible to have a happy and fulfilling relationship without children as long as it's what both people want. And then you have to make that clear from the beginning, as I've said before. That's the first thing I talk about when considering dating anyone is, do you have children, do you want children? 13, define parenthood in one word. Kelly had it right, slavery. Slavery, I like that one. Absolutely, parents are absolutely slaves to their children. And it's sad, and we see it every day. And people just don't get it. Whatever. 14, do you think you'd be a good parent? Why or why not? Honestly, I think I'd be a great father. I would. I would love my kids to death. You know, I would do anything for them. I'd spoil them rotten. But 
it's not going to happen because I don't want them. I would make a wonderful parent, but excuse me, I simply do not want kids. And that's okay. Because then we all have a choice. <clears throat> Number 15, do you have pets? Do you think you transfer the nurturing and love intended for a child unto your pets? When I was married, I had a cat. Uh, and I loved her. She was great. Um, actually, we do have pets. Uh, see the little hamsters back there? Neville and Alfred. Um, I should introduce them on video one day. Well, maybe next time. But, uh, yeah. I don't know if... That's, that's... I don't know. I don't think I transfer the nurturing and love intended for a child. I don't think there is any nurturing or love intended for a child. You know, your nurturing spirit and love should be put towards what you want it to be put towards. Not It's not made for children. Um... You know, it can be put towards a project, it could be put towards your hobby, it could be put towards, you know, your passion, what you like to do, what you, what you do for work, it could be put towards pets, and it could be put towards children. So it's not, it's not, you know, in, it's, you know, the nurturing and love a human being possesses does not guide towards children only, and then we're veering it towards our pets. It doesn't work that way. Number 16, which child-free stereotype do you not fit? Um, I'm not rich. I don't have a lot of disposable income. Actually, I just did my taxes, as the, uh, the Facebook group knows. And we, we're talking about that right now. Um, they take a ton out of my paychecks because I file, I claim zero. I file single. Um, no kids, no dependents. And uh, the returns aren't that great either at... Uh, tax time, which is now. I think I got uh, everything said and done, fees paid. I'm getting about $100 back. And I know coworkers who have two kids that are getting 11000 back. Um, it's pretty ridiculous. It's pretty ridiculous. So I'm, I'm guessing the government is screwing me because I'm not making more taxpayers. I don't know what the reason is. But yeah, child free stereotype, I'm not rich. I do live comfortably. But I'm not rich. 17. Is it hard to find a child free partner? Um, no. No, because I don't seek anything but child free partners. Um, I don't even, like I said, I don't even consider a parent a potential life mate, a potential partner. Um, or anyone who's on the fence, anyone who doesn't know or might want children, no. Um, you know, there are child-free dating sites out there. Uh, you know, just Google child-free dating, and I'm sure you'll find them. Uh, there's Facebook groups. There's YouTube. There's, you know, everything. I mean, you know, websites, all that stuff. So it shouldn't be too hard. I mean, it's, it's kind of a growing thing. So people are realizing that it's a choice. Number 18, which label do you prefer, child-free or childless? As... Um, Popcorn Culture Junkie and Kelly have both said, I like child free. I am free of children. Childless infers that you are missing something, that something is not there. That, oh, it's not here now, but it will be in the future. That's why they call it childless by choice, I think. Or not, not, not by choice, I'm sorry. Childless uh, when a parent wants, or when someone wants to be a parent someday as opposed to child free who we've already made the decision that we do not want children ever. Do you actively encourage people around you to think about their reproductive choices? Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Um, you know, everyone I see, they ask if I have kids. Nope. Oh, why not? Well, you know, it's a choice. I made the choice not to have them and uh, you can too. I don't voluntarily most of the time come out and say, hey, I'm child free, you should be too, because that would be like what the parents do to us when they say, oh, you need to have kids, why don't you have kids, you should have kids. I'm not going to do that. I'm not, I'm not going to, we're not going to create a child free attacking society or, you know, be known as attackers in any way or, I don't know what the right word is or, you know, pushing our beliefs on others. 
we made our choice. They can make theirs, but we have to let them know that it that it is a choice. But I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna say, hey, you, you, know, you, you don't have you don't have children yet. Stay that way. Don't have kids ever, never, ever. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna let them know, hey, you know, this is a choice. This is my choice. Number twenty. Are you worried about who will take care of you when you're old? No, no. I work as a caregiver. And uh, in an assisted living facility, it's more like a nursing home in Arkansas. But, uh, you know, who's going to take care of me when I'm old? Caregivers, like me. The, parent, the, the kids don't. That's why they're in, in uh, assisted living and nursing homes. The kids are just can't handle them anymore. They don't want them. You know, let's get grandpa out of the house or whatever. It's cruel, but it's true. I see it every day. You know, these residents that, that never, ever get visitors, their kids never come to see them, they just dumped them off and took off. And they made sure to take the power of attorney with them so they had all their money and access to their bank accounts and their house and everything. It's cruel. It's incredibly cruel. But, you know, the, the fantasy of who's going to take care of you when you're old, oh, your kids, that's ridiculous. If you expect that, then you're more selfish than you claim the child free to be. Number 21, what is the best part about being child free? Well, it's right there, free, freedom. The freedom to read a book, the freedom to play a game, the freedom to nurture my relationship with my girlfriend, um, I mean, the freedom to just sleep in until 11 o'clock, like I did today, it was, it's awesome. Uh, You know, getting to connect with other child-free people and talk about our choice and our lives and everything. It's, it's wonderful. It's, you know, the time, we have the time that children take away. We have the, you know, the sanity that children take away. And that's it. So, again, Kelly, thank you very much for uh, tagging me in your child-free video. Uh, I hope you like mine, and uh, I'll see you guys later.